This is a quick tutorial on how to use a sign up and login that comes pre built into Bubble. So you start a new Bubble project and you get this application assistant and they give you this kind of uh, boilerplate uh, page here. I usually say start with a blank page. Uh, so it gets rid of all this stuff and then I close the assistant. So here you've got a, a blank page you want to enable people to sign into your app and thankfully with the beauty of bubble it's already done for you so if you go down to reusable elements here on the left hand side and you click on header and then you click on your page it will put the standard bubble header there which you can obviously customize um, drag it into position so you should see the red bars on the left and the right hand side which means you are inside the page and then just drop it at the top there um, and then if you preview this page like this let's see what happens so you will have the header bar there and if you click sign up or log in you will see this sign up box so if you then put in any old information and click sign up Okay, it was a rubbish password, thank you Chrome. So I am now signed in. And if I click the log out button, I'm now logged out. And if you go into your app here um, and go down to um, the data tab and look at app data, you will see you only currently have one data type, that's the user type that comes pre-built in. All users, you will see the user that I just created test at test.com so a user has been created so how does that work and why was it so easy um, if you go up here where it says page and at the moment I'm on the index page but you open that up and you will see reusable elements header footer and sign up login pop-up so that just means you can use these in other places in your app um, and if you edit one they will all be edited so if I click on header, you'll see here that it has the button sign up or log in. And if you click on this menu here, which shows you the elements that are on this page, uh, so within the reusable element header, you will see there is a sign up login pop up, which is this. And this itself is the reusable element sign up login pop up. So if we wanted to edit this, we would have to do that uh, by clicking here. Um, but at the moment I just want to show you that when you click this button and click start edit workflow you can then see what it does so if you click that button and they've got a conditional on here so if you don't know about conditionals um, definitely learn them but there it just means this workflow will only run when the current user isn't logged in and all it does is it shows sign up login pop up and if the current user is logged in then it will log them out. Uh, so if I go to the sign up login pop up so we can see what that's doing. So I just typed in my email address and password uh, and then I click sign up. So if we click start edit workflow here, sign the you. So all it does is when you click that button, it runs this workflow action called sign the user up. So you can find that if you look in here, account, sign the user up, it's the first action you can do. So you can put that anywhere uh, and you can, um, it takes their email. So this is referring to the email uh, input box that was on the pop-up. It takes their password, which was whatever I typed in there. And then it takes the com confirmation password. Uh, and then, so it signs them up, that creates a user account and then it hides the pop-up. So that's all it does. Um, and you don't have to use this pre-designed um, pop-up box obviously you can redesign this if you want but you could just as easily have uh, an input on your page here and call it email and you could have another one here called password uh, and content format for that you want to be password because that just means it will not show what you're typing and the content format for the first one you want to be email 
because that will check that it's actually an e email address so it's just kind of helpful for you and then you can have a button that says sign up and if you do a workflow on that button you then just use this account sign the user up email equals input email which we just created and their value password equals input passwords value and I didn't bother with a confirmation box but if I did I would just tick this and it would ask me for another input with the confirmation uh, don't need to do that so this will sign sign the user up as well so if I go back to this page and refresh it and then I'll put in test2 at test.com sign up and nothing's changed here because I didn't put any other workflow actions but you can see this button now says log out so that means I am signed up and signed in and I can now click that to log out and again I'm logged out uh, and then in terms of doing login uh, sorry about that it um, is just a case of on the pre-built sign up form there's also a button here that says login and you can just uh, type in the details you put in previously and log in and it will automatically log you in so I'm now logged in as the first user I created um, and again that is as simple as going to the sign up login pop-up so you can't see the login form here because it is a group on this page but it's currently hidden so what I can do is I can go to this elements tree and I can actually hide group sign up and I can show group login and it works exactly the same way uh, there's an email and a password box but when you press start edit workflow it runs log the user in instead of sign the user up and if you go to account you can see that's just the second action in the list so that is how to do signups and logins on Bubble.